This map shows some of the key wetlands in Africa. These wetlands are vital to sustain people in nature, and they also play a role in peace and security. This World Bank and UN report identified four drivers of human insecurity. Land, water, and extractive resources are amongst them, and wetlands are key for water and land. Let's take a closer look into one major wetland, the inner Niger Delta of Mali, and see why. The inner Niger Delta is the second largest wetland area in Africa. It is the most naturally productive area of Mali. For centuries, fishers, farmers and herders from different ethnic groups have made good use of the Delta's natural resources. It is an engine of Mali's economy. But these natural resources are under pressure due to population growth, new water infrastructures, which divert water away, as well as climate change. 20 years ago, only half a million people were making a living from more than 41,000 square kilometers of flooded area. Now more than 2 million people are competing for survival from only 10,000 square kilometers of flooded area. The flow of the Niger River into the inner Niger Delta has decreased by half since the 1980s, causing a shrinkage of fertile land fisheries and pastures. Mali is a dry country. For the food sufficiency of its population, it need to build dams. Dam irrigate area where Mali produces about 60% of his rice production. Dam also has uh, disadvantages. That means less water for people living downstream. Less fish, less food, less cattle uh, feed. Yes, scarcity of water can lead to conflicts, can lead to competition. It leads to potential difficulties on the ground where people lose their livelihoods. Scarcity of natural resources can lead to conflicts between farmers and pastoralists, as is the case right now again in the Sahel, where we see more and more competition over access to farming land or access to grazing land. Disputes among different users, uprisings of armed groups, which have become common since 2012, and human displacements within Mali are an everyday reality. There are more and more reports showing that increasing scarcity of wetland resources, such as food, fresh water and fertile land, are directly and indirectly contributing to human insecurity and violent conflict in Mali. Together with climate change, this would spell disastrous consequences for the dependent communities. The inner Niger Delta of Mali is just one example of where the condition of wetlands is influencing the security of people. Similar things are happening in other places around the world. It makes sense to sustain and restore wetlands as one strategy to enable peace and security. This action to safeguard wetlands is even more important and urgent given the likely impact of climate change, making water resources more unpredictable. It's time to link wetlands to the global agenda on peace and security.